Imagine looking up at the sky, expecting to see birds, and instead a shadow blots out the sun. A creature so massive, so alien, it doesn't look real. This isn't a dragon, nor a myth, but a real predator that once soared over prehistoric Earth. Its name? Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus was not just another flying reptile. With a wingspan stretching nearly 36 feet as wide as a small airplane, it was one of the largest flying creatures in Earth's history. To the dinosaurs that walked below, its silhouette must have been terrifying. It belonged to a group called Ajdarshid pterosaurs, known for their long necks, sharp beaks, and almost stork-like appearance. But unlike today's storks, this predator wasn't catching tiny fish. It was capable of hunting animals the size of deer. Quetzalcoatlus wasn't just huge, it was built for domination. Wings, its hollow yet strong bones made its wings light enough to carry its enormous body. Neck, its extremely long neck acted like a spear, striking down prey with speed. Beak, sharp, toothless, but deadly, like a razor sharp pair of forceps. Imagine this. A T-Rex kills a Triceratops. Hours later, Quetzalcoatlus arrives from the skies, landing beside the carcass. With its long beak, it tears flesh from the bones, feasting on the kill without needing to fight. This opportunistic lifestyle gave it an advantage. It didn't always need to risk hunting, but when it did, it could strike fear into anything smaller than itself. Imagine the skies of the late Cretaceous. Suddenly, a shadow falls across the land. Quetzalcoatlus, the giant of the skies, begins its hunt. Sometimes it stalks like a stork, quietly pacing riverbanks, striking with its razor beak to snatch fish, reptiles, even small dinosaurs. Other times it rules the air, gliding silently, then swooping down in a deadly ambush, spearing young dinosaurs before they even know it's there. And when the kill isn't its own, Quetzalcoatlus becomes the scavenger king, circling high, spotting carcasses from miles away, driving off rivals with its sheer size. In every role, hunter, ambusher, scavenger, this winged titan dominated its prehistoric world. What makes this scarier is its size on land, standing at over 16 feet tall. It towered like a giraffe, Imagine a giraffe with wings and a spear for a face. That's what Quetzalcoatlus looked like. For millions of years, Quetzalcoatlus ruled the skies. But like all prehistoric titans, it vanished during the Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction event. About 66 million years ago, when an asteroid impact changed the world forever. Quetzalcoatlus was not a myth nor a fantasy. It was real. A flying predator so massive it stretched the limits of evolution. Its story reminds us that long before humans ruled the skies with airplanes, the Earth was already home to the true lords of the wind. This is No Chill Nature, three-minute predator countdown series. If you love uncovering the monsters time tried to erase, make sure to subscribe, because next time we're dragging yet another prehistoric nightmare out of the shadows. Stick around. More ancient beasts are on the way.